Hey Sagittarius, it's Natalie here doing a channel message for you guys for the month of July. Hope everyone is doing well. Okay, so this is going to be for Sagittarius and any placement in your chart. If you have Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, this may resonate for you or may resonate for someone that you know of. Okay, so let's tap into your guys' energy. I did a little quick research on you guys and what you guys have been doing for the past, past month. Okay, it seems like everything has been free flowing for you guys. Um, pretty positive energy. I feel like you guys have been doing whatever you wanted to do since that strawberry moon that we were just in that just passed last month. So seems like everything seems to be going in your guys' favor. I'm not saying that you guys never do what you want to do because I'm feeling like Sagittarius right now. I'm tapping into a Sagittarius that always does what they want to do. Okay, they don't really listen to people. Okay, and I feel like recently you made a good decision. Okay, and it's been propelling you forward. So really good energy. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius right now. Holy Spirit, angels. Yeah, becoming free from something. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius for this month in July. Okay, uh, great. Endings are inevitable. So there's definitely an ending out here. Maybe an ending that you weren't so happy. I mean, I don't know. I feel like maybe you tried to hold on to two things at the same time. I'm getting like two of wands energy out here. Maybe you were stuck in between worlds, Sagittarius is what I'm getting. Um, and you finally ended up making a decision or you will be, all right? At the bottom we have, we are all just stardust. So this could be energy of you just like, eh, it, I mean, I'm getting like it is what it is with you guys. This type of energy that I'm getting so far from your reading. Let's see. Sagittarius, what is the energy for the Sagittarius for this month in July? Give me three cards for Sagittarius. The three cards, please, for Sagittarius. We have freedom. Yeah, like I said, you guys are free from something. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Seems like you guys are in the energy of making your own decisions. What else, please, for Sagittarius? Or someone is. Another energy. Okay, so we have self-esteem out here with balance. Yeah, your freedom had a lot to do with your self-esteem imagination is in the reverse i feel like someone out here was trying to block your like imagination or your writer's block if you're a writer or um your creative block uh self-esteem yeah they try to block your creative side or something like that i possess the gifts of the soul that benefits me and others i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment i feel like something about friends is very important for you guys sagittarius um Whatever you do in your energy, it, it does affect other people. Oh, wow. Look what just slipped out. Karmic family members. All right. I already know where this is going, but let's see. Yeah, you reap what you sow, though. Chained to the devil. Someone out here is, like, tied to a contract. Maybe they want you to be tied to that contract, okay, or something. Someone out here doesn't necessarily want you to be free. Clarify freedom, please, for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and Angels. Clarify freedom here, please, for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, angels. Okay, fourth house, root, self-care, mother, woman, emotions, nurture, and feminine. Okay, so this could be a feminine that we're talking about, but I'm getting more like roots. Um, moving away from your roots, realizing that you don't have to... I feel like someone out here is moving away from the roots. Yeah, something about shadow work. Something about like how they did things before, it's changing now. Things are changing and you feel free from your roots. Now, that's a good thing if your roots were like a curse, like a curse on your family or something. Yeah, something about going on vacation, just like getting away from your roots for self-care. I also feel like there could be someone out here that you want to be around, someone that's a nurturer. Okay. I feel like um, you guys could be in solitude and trying to figure out how to get away from someone or something and go on vacation clarify oh fourth house is also about stability to me right now um yeah i feel like once you get away from certain people places or things you're able to take care of yourself we're, we're gonna figure out why in a minute uh clarify self-esteem first house how people see you spiritual tribe one more please for sagittarius and self-esteem yeah, I feel like you worried about how people might see you. You may have like a, a 
um, or your person, now take the, take this how it resonates. You might, you surround yourself with people that make you seem a certain way. I don't know. Or someone try to get in your head about a, maybe an earth angel out here. Clarify the first house, how people see you. White witch. Yeah. Um, maybe you guys were in a relationship with a spiritual person, like a white witch or something like that. Yeah. Generational curse. I knew there was a curse out here. Chained to the devil. It's like you felt like you couldn't be with this person. Cheating and infidelity. I feel like also someone out here was trying to get you to like, um, you know, just not be so truthful to this white witch energy. If you guys are in a relationship with one or if the white witch is you guys, okay? If someone out here was worried about how people would see them because they have some sort of like power or in the family or in the friends group, they're always seen as like, they're the first one that people see. Clarify balance for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and angels. Fed you to the wolves. I need one more for a balance for Sagittarius. 12th house, hidden enemies. Someone out here actually, okay. Generational wealth, karmic woman. Clout chaser. There's a, a, a hidden enemy around the person that is worried about the way people make them look. Someone wanted to get someone out of the picture and copy someone. Okay, so someone was like, okay, this is, all right, this is, I already see where this is going. There's a karmic woman out here. It could be like a karmic man or karmic woman, but the card says karmic woman, so we're just going to say that. Uh, basically, there was a woman out here who was trying to take an, a white witch, an earth angel spot. Um, maybe this karmic woman maybe had, I don't know, maybe looked better than the white witch. So they said, let's just copy her essence and put it on the karmic woman. Someone out here tried to copy you, copy your style or make a copy of you or make a clone of you because they're worried how people might see them. But we also have set boundaries here. I feel like um, this karmic woman was a hidden enemy to this person the whole time or someone out find, someone found something out. Yeah, sociopath lies too easily, delusional. Illusions, moon magic. Yeah, someone here was doing glamour spells or, or illusion magic, trying to make, trying to swap someone's destiny with someone else is what I'm getting. Yeah. So it's like, don't be with her, be with me. I'm the one who has this, this and that, or I look like this, this and that. But the whole time she wasn't doing it for the right reason. She was this person's enemy also. And maybe this white witch had generational wealth. They try to copy this white witch, this white witch's uh, destiny or legacy or something, thinking that they were going to get generational wealth. But surprise, surprise, the generational wealth wasn't attached to the masculine. It was attached to the feminine. That's what I'm getting out here. So this karmic woman tried to copy this white witch's energy. Thinking that, oh, if I have her person or her friends or something like that, I'll get generational wealth. No, <laughs> no, it's it's in the bloodline. This white witch, it, the generational wealth is attached to her bloodline, not who she hangs around. That's what someone out here didn't realize. Someone out here is moving away from this karmic woman, though. They don't want to be around this person anymore. I feel like they're doing shadow work. They're seeing what's going on. Maybe they fell for it at first. Oh, let's move this to the side. I'm hearing like maybe they had fell for it at first. Yeah, because fed you to the wolves is here. So they did. They did this already. But now they're stuck with this person or something like that. And they're starting to realize that this karmic woman is not really who she says she is or she lied about what she does. I don't know. We have the star and the verse and the sun out here. It's clear that someone out here has a lack of healing or a lack of faith or they're not connected or they're inauthentic. I'm hearing uh, they can tell by the way this person speaks. Yeah, the lovers in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Someone out here is blocked. So there's some sort of uh, block communication. All right, Sagittarius. All right, the Moon card came out and the King of Wands in the reverse came out. I'm going to leave that. So there's secrets coming out about someone's inaction to do something. Maybe someone out here lied because I saw lies too easily. Someone out here just lies a little bit too easily, um, Sagittarius. This could be someone that you're dealing with or... 
someone that your person is dealing with, okay? If you know this is not you. But secrets are coming out about, like, someone is angry that secrets are coming out too, okay? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, there's some sort of altercation or a fight. The Knight of Cups out here in the reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my gosh. The Hierophant in the reverse. Temperance upright with the Empress in the reverse. The only card that's upright is your guys' energy. Sagittarius, this temperance energy. So while all this is going on around you, you guys are cool, you guys are balanced, you guys are tempered, you guys are patient. Okay, that's that that might be the white witch that we're talking about. Since it's literally the only card upright. Wow, okay. So someone out here, okay. The outcome is the Empress in the reverse. So she's a distorted feminine. <laughs> Clarifying her is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Very fake. Yeah, look. Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. Someone out here is playing mind games, lying, uh, doing whatever it takes, competition. We have the Hierophant in reverse out here. Someone out here does not respect somebody. They're really angry. They're not respecting the code anymore. There was something that this person did, okay, for looks. Maybe your person did this for looks. They dealt with this person for looks or they gained up. I'm getting like a gang up. There's about four or five people here. They ganged up with people for looks or something like that. Now they're realizing that that wasn't the right way to go because everybody that they're in the group with is in the reverse. Like literally. There's even a king of pentacles in the reverse out here too. So there's a masculine out here who's unreliable. Um, maybe gambles money or something like that. This king of wands in the reverse is angry. He, It's like their energy is turning this person in the reverse. There's an angry person. There's a lying female and there's a unreliable masculine and there's an empress in the verse. So there's also a mother out here. So there's a lot of things going on right now. Let's start clarifying. Clarify the moon in the reverse, please, for Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles in the verse, the two of swords and the eight of Pentacles in the reverse with the queen of cups. Someone out here was um, getting to someone's heart chakra or... Like something out here was hidden, right? Maybe someone, this work collaboration or this group made it seem like that they were to be trusted or this family thought that they were supposed to be trusted or something, but, or they thought that they could trust this family. We have the two of swords out here. So this is like nonchalant energy. They had nonchalant energy around this family. They weren't like, they weren't noticing that there was no work being done on a situation. Okay. Uh, Queen of Cups is out here with the Four of Pentacles out here and the Eight of Swords in reverse with Temperance and the Two of Cups. Yeah, they want to leave this and go somewhere with somebody else. They want to leave and go with someone else. They don't want to be around these people or this person. And it looks like money is what's being lied about. Yeah, clarify the King of Wands in the reverse for Sagittarius. Seven of Cups in reverse, King of Swords and the Four of Cups in reverse. And the Queen of Cups is out here. Yeah, see... All he can think about is this Queen of Cups energy, by the way. She's not around this energy, I'm guessing, but that's all he can think about. The Four of Cups is in the verse. He's realizing that he should have took an offer. The King of Swords is very um, stern, and he's all about the facts and the truth of things. The Seven of Cups in the verse mean, means no more uh, illusions, and this is why this person is mad. This person is angry with themselves and the people around them. Like, he can't stand the people that he's around. Also, I'm getting like this person was always like, I don't know, they were always like maybe on drugs or something or they were doing something out here to keep them in some sort of smoke and mirrors energy. Um, people were profiting off of that. Something about a generational curse. They're not getting any generational wealth. They're getting a generational curse. Okay, these people are. Um, this person should have accepted an offer from you. It's like they're starting to see things a lot more clearly right now and all it's doing is making them antsy. It's like, I don't know if they can move forward with something, but I do know that they're really angry. Clarify the uh, Queen of Swords in reverse, please, for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and Angels. This is, I'm hearing dishonesty. This is a dishonest uh, feminine. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse came out. Seven of Wands in reverse with the Emperor. Four of Pentacles, two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups out here. Yeah, it's like someone out here, I don't... They're not safe with this feminine out here. They're starting to realize that this could be like a father energy to clarify the uh, emperor. He's starting to make like executive decisions. So this must be 
this could be a Sagittarius male out here in his divine masculine energy. Um, if you're not the Sagittarius, um, but it, you know, it could be both ways because you know how tarot is, but I'm picking up off of fire energy. This person could be a fire sign. Um, he's realizing that he's wasted a lot of time with this liar or this person that scolds them all the time. They don't have any, they don't even have any protection around them. They realize they got to step up and be the bigger person in this whole situation and take care of everything. This person has realized they got to take care of their own life. They can't be around other people. Clarify the uh, Knight of Cups in reverse for Sagittarius. So someone out here is definitely fake. Queen of Cups out here. Yeah, the Queen of uh, Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Wands with the Queen of Swords out here upright. Um... This person was doing the most to block this masculine from this Queen of Cups energy. And she was really greedy. She was always getting in the way. She thought that her needs mattered first before love with another woman or something like that. This could be a mother. It's like, oh, before you go out on a date with that Queen of Cups, I need my bills paid or something like that, Sagittarius. It's like that. So I'm figuring that this person knew about you. This person knew about the Queen of Cups. Okay, wherever you are in the story, they were doing the most to try to block somebody and they kept doing it over and over again. This person is also the type of person to like be in the middle of both of you guys and pretend to be fake or something. This could be like a karmic mother looks like. But I'm getting more karmic woman. It could literally be any woman. Um, someone out who, who's greedy and money hungry. Clarify the king of pentacles in reverse. Queen of swords wanted to come out. Clarify the king of pentacles in the reverse. I'm hearing you've always known this. Like this isn't news to you. They're just now waking up to what you see. Clarify the King of Pentacles in the reverse, please, for Sagittarius. King of Pentacles in the reverse for Sagittarius. We have the Fool card out here, the Devil in the reverse, and the Judgment in the reverse. The Four of Swords. Something about these people, it lets me know that they thought that they were going to get away with something. And they're a little bit mad about that. They're also receiving judgment, or someone out here is left... In judgment, that devil in the verse lets me know that they're the ones that were chained to the devil. There could be like a, another masculine out here too. Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries energy. There could be another masculine out here that this person is dealing with or something like a family member or, or for some of you. They want to like leave a situation. I mean, they're stuck in a situation, but they're like, they want to leave the situation and they're leaving like two or three people, but they're all leaving in, in different ways, if that makes any sense. Let me clarify that uh, judgment in the reverse. Why is judgment in the reverse? Because it looks like they, they thought that someone out here wasn't going to gain their freedom or their self-esteem. Yeah, the page of cups in the reverse with the tower in the reverse. It's like they're always doing things to avoid a tower. Being fake. It's like they're really unapologetic too. This person's like, I got to get out of here. I got to get away from these people. Clarify higher, higher fit in the reverse. This is like a broken contract or a lack of respect, non-committal. Clarify the higher fit in the reverse. I feel like also this person was very non-committal to you, Sagittarius. They were. But now they're angry. Clarify the higher fit in the reverse, please, for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, angels. Yeah, High Priestess, the Moon in the reverse, the King of Cups in the reverse, Cancer Energy with the Chariot. <sighs> Someone out here definitely has found out the secrets. This person was being very uncommittal to you guys, and you were always in this High Priestess energy. You've always known. You've always known. They know now, but you've always known. This King of Cups in the reverse represents someone out here who was... They were definitely um, emotionally misguided. That's the word I want to use. Clarify the King of Cups in the reverse. You knew their heart was in the right place. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. It, it, this was an opportunity of love or something like that. Seven of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Three of Wands in the reverse with Justice. I'm also getting something like you were like you you quietly held on to some sort of abundance without letting this person know you let this person divorce you or you let this person split up with you. 
um, but you always knew that you had the Ace of Pentacles. They didn't know this. The secret is coming out now. They're mad. They're, they don't have anything connected to these people. They don't have anything. The generational wealth was connected to you, not these people. Pretty much. Clarify temperance out here, please, for Sagittarius. Or Sagittarius, you're dealing with someone that the um, generational wealth was connected to that person. It wasn't connected to these people that you're dealing with that obviously lied or blocked, blocked you from um, emotionally being available for them. Clarify temperance, please, for Sagittarius. That's your guys' energy. You guys are the alchemists. You're always able to turn something into... You're always able to turn nothing into something. Clarify the temperance, please, for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, and angels. Ace of Wands, Justice, Libra Energy, and the Eight of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Knight of Swords in the verse with the Two of Cups. Someone out here is going to jail. Justice with the Eight of Swords. Someone out here is stuck in karma because you're able to move forward and they cannot. They can't come with you or something or they're stuck by stuck behind with legal issues. They're going to be left out in the cold. Someone out here got them involved with the law or something. That's also what I'm getting out here. Someone out here got them involved with the law. And it could have been this copycat person. Clarify the Eight of Swords so I can clarify that for Sagittarius. Yeah, the three of, Pen three of Cups in the reverse. They were listening to a lot of gossip or a lot of people or they just had like a bunch of people around them. Yeah, the Knight of Wands out here, the Nine of Cups, always rushing for, you know, instant gratification or something like that. But they're always losing money or something like that's that was that was the problem with these people. They're stuck in this. So they could not be really stuck in jail, but they're stuck in giving something to somebody or they're stuck losing money with these people or being in debt because of these people that's their karma i'm getting that's what they deserve so you basically let this person walk into their own trap i mean there's nothing really that you guys could have did sagittarius but it's giving me like this person had to learn this lesson empress in the reverse is the outcome someone out here is not a divine feminine clarify this empress in the reverse please for sagittarius someone out here is going through it Page of Wands, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the Two of Wands out here. For some of you, this um, this masculine is coming towards you still. This uh, distorted feminine out here is hearing news that they they still are happier with you, or they're receiving messages like they ha they have to deal with this Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. They have to deal with some sort of like not having something out in the cold poverty or something like that due to someone out here leaving them for their happiness it could actually be a whole family to be honest with you there's a, a whole family is mad at this person i'm um, hearing deficiency someone out here is not healthy either um yeah but this person tried to like copy your energy which did not work at all yeah, we have strength out here in the verse. Someone out here feels weak. Six of Pentacles out here in the verse. I'm hearing codependency. Uh, Knight of Swords out here with the Two of Cups. Someone here is mad that someone wants to be with somebody. They're trying to do whatever they can. But the way that they're doing it is like they're they're lying. They're slandering. They're gossiping. They're running their mouth. They're not being emotional at all. They're not showing this person that they actually care about them. They're not holding up their end of the bargain when it comes to deals or nothing like that. It's like there's no reason for this person to be around them. But this person try to copy your energy. Whoever this person is, they try to copy their energy. That's why this person is getting karma for this. They're being left out in the cold. The um, generational wealth is not attached to this, to these people, these karmic family members. It, it was attached to the white witch the whole time. Sagittarius. We have go wild, full moon and Leo. Yeah, it's a lot of free energy for you guys. Uh, take a reality check. Yeah, this person had to wake up and realize, wait a minute, I can't be around these people. These people are greedy, they're money hungry, they're angry. Attend to the details. Yeah, it's like they realize that they have to like, yeah, work through the feelings. They always have to do things on their own. Every time these karmic family members or these friends mess up something, they always got to clean it up too. That's another reason why they don't like being around these people. But this is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope this helped you. Thanks. Bye.